living by you forever. I'm your friend. You'll always be right here with me. I'm so thankful for your love. No matter what I do, I know this is true. You're by my side. You'll never leave. I want to thank you, God, for showing me who I am. You're so good. You help me to understand. Basketball goal. I like you. Oh, old coffee can. Like. Ping pong board wall. Like. <laughs> Ooh. Like. 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 Brennan. Yeah. You know, this is not how you like things. I don't like this. Everybody. Welcome to the So-and-So Show. I'm Brandon. I'm John, and we've got a great show in store for you today. You're gonna love it. No. Yeah! Woo! Go, John! Thank you for such an incredible introduction to the show. <laughs> mm. What are you doing, John? Oh, her? Yeah, yeah, she's just here to thank me. You know, show gratitude. I feel like I don't always get enough thanks for all I do on the show. Right, okay. Oh, I'm Brandon. Hi, welcome to the show. Okay, uh, let's just you know, get on with it. Yeah, okay. Great idea, right. Brandon. <laughs> Woo, thank you, John, for being so encouraging. Oh, <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> thank you. Do you know what I like about you, Brandon? What? You're always up for new things. Oh, you know, uh, I think that's something that I struggle with. Uh, John's the nicest. John's so great. Let's give thanks to John today. Thank you. <laughs> Is this really necessary? 
Brandon, gratitude is an important part of life. Yeah. I'm just trying to grow our gratitude here on the show. G-R-A-T-E-F-U-L, we are grateful for John. See? You know, I don't think that the, the way to grow gratitude in your life is, is to make people give you thanks. What are you talking about? Oh, <laughs> of course it is. Here, okay. let me show you. <clears throat> oh, ring. Is this your famous chocolate cake with homemade raspberry frosting? You know it. <sighs> whoa, 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 whoa. Aren't you forgetting something? Thank you, thank you, thank you, John. You baked a cake. You can do that wrong. John, 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 John. Woo! Yeah. Oh. Thank you. Uh, it's okay, buddy. You don't have to thank me. You can just have the cake. <laughs> it's covered in confetti. Well, all the more fun. Confetti and cake. That's a complete party right there. P-A-R-T-Y. Let's give thanks for a great time. Thanks for the party, John. Yeah. You know what, this isn't even real gratitude. It's more like she's just cheering you on. Huh? Woo! Who are we grateful for? John! What are we grateful for? Everything John does! <laughs> yeah! All right, fine, it's Bible story time. Let me try this. It's Bible story time! Woo Who's grateful for Bible story time? Me! Roll the title package! Everybody. Hey, hey, what do you have in store for us today? Great question, and lucky for you all, I've got a great answer. Today, we are looking at a story in the Bible that takes place in the Old Testament when David was the king of Israel. But to tell the story, I need your help with live action flannel grab. Okay. Awesome. <laughs> Before King David's time, God instructed the people to build a beautiful gold-covered chest called the Ark of the Covenant. The original Ten Commandments were stored inside and the Ark represented God's home among the people. King David was told that the Lord had greatly blessed the family whose house the Ark was in. So David, went down to that place to bring the ark to his own city, the city of David. People went with him to help him carry the ark. It's the ark of the Lord! Can't contain my joy! Woo! Let's bring it home! As you wish. One, two, three, four, five, six. Glory to God! David was full of joy as he brought the ark to his city. He loved the Lord greatly, and he danced before the Lord with all his might. I mean, he danced with everything he had. All his might. That's more like it. David danced while they brought up the ark. And it wasn't just some quiet or secret trip. The whole community of Israel helped him bring it up. They shouted. <laughs> they blew trumpets. And the Ark of the Lord was brought into the city of David. Woo! We're here! While almost everyone was filled with joy and gratitude for the Lord and for moving the Ark, there was one person who was not happy. Saul's daughter, Michael, who was David's wife, watched from a window. Woo! Yeah! <laughs> Woo! 
Oh, just look at him leaping and dancing. When Michael saw him leaping and dancing in the streets, it made her hate him in her heart. They brought the ark into Jerusalem and put it in the tent David had set up for it. David made offerings to the Lord and blessed all the people. After everyone went home, David went to his home to bless his family. I'm home! <laughs> oh. You are the king of Israel. You've really brought honor on yourself today, haven't you? Haven't you? You acted like a fool. I did it to honor the Lord. The Lord appointed me ruler of his people, Israel. I will celebrate to honor the Lord. I will look even more foolish than this and bring even more shame on myself. <laughs> Woo-hoo! Wee-hee! Look at me! Woo-hoo! Woo-hoo! Ha-ha! Woo! Yay, God! Woo! David loved the Lord so passionately and was so grateful for what the Lord had done for him that he didn't care what people thought of him or the way he celebrated God. He wanted to give all of himself to honor the Lord, even if it made him look silly or foolish. The end. Wow, David really did go all out. Yep, and thank you guys for going all out for helping me tell the story today. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. I've been making this whole gratitude thing all about myself, but David made it about giving thanks to God rather than getting it. Exactly. David saw the big picture of how God had blessed him. He celebrated and gave thanks to God with all his heart. That's amazing. Hey, thank you for the awesome Bible story. Anytime. Bye. Uh, sorry I got a little carried away making it all about me today. It's okay, it happens to the best of us. Yeah, you know, I, I thought I wasn't getting enough thanks, but really God deserves so much more thanks than I do. I mean, maybe, maybe the way to grow our gratitude is by thanking God. I like the sound of that. God is good, God is great. Let's give God our thanks today, woo! woo! Now that felt good. Hey, thanks for being here today. You're welcome, woo! <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Reveal the question. How can you show God you're grateful? There's so much to be grateful to God for, and it's important for us to express it. Yeah, it might not look the same as what David did, and that's okay. Everyone is different and expresses their heart and their gratitude differently. Yeah, so what is it for you? Maybe, maybe you could show your gratitude by talking to God throughout the day, thanking God for the little things. Yeah, or doing something creative just for God, like writing a letter or making a painting. Yeah, you can even show God you're grateful by uh, treating the people around you with love and kindness. Yeah, that's a great idea. Now, I bet you can come up with some other awesome ideas, too. So talk it out together, and we'll see you next time. I'm John. I'm Brandon, and this was The So-and-So Show. Was it? it? Yeah. Give me a tea. <laughs> tea. Give me a date. Okay. Sorry, you come this way. H! Give me an A! A! Give me an N! Okay, I got it, I got it, I got it. Yep, yep, yep. N! Give me a K. Okay. okay. All right. All right. Oh. <laughs> K. K. Give me an S. No. I can't. I, only right angle letters. <laughs> or 45 degrees, maybe, but can't do an S. S. Yes. What's the spell? <laughs> Thank. Thank. Ha, 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 ha.